Hey, thanks for coming. This is gonna be a good day. We're going to talk about how people think about cars, whether people are thinking about them the right way. Talk about how vehicles are constructed, uh, what is, what's going to reliably stop a bullet on a vehicle, what's probably not going to reliably stop a bullet. And I'll give you guys the opportunity to see that for yourselves with your actual concealed carry ammunition. Uh, but we'll talk about how we manipulate things like seat belts, door handles, all of that to get in and out of the vehicle in an efficient and robust manner. And then we'll also look at uh, how we use vehicles for cover and concealment, how we fight around cars appropriately. We got penetration through one side of the car. We got, look at that. Let's see if I can get plastic that guy. Plastic body panel caught it. Yep, plastic <laughs> body panel caught it. <laughs> First round, got some deviation, right? Um, what, about four inches? A lot of vehicle defense classes turn into four dudes with plate carriers and rifles yelling contact, doing bailout drills, and that's not what we're doing. Just not what we're doing, right? This is a this is contextual to civilian self-defense. Right now, what we are going to do is a sliver of what I teach in my concealed carry <laughs> red dot one course. It is how to make your draw efficient which in turn will increase your speed. So I got two here, two here, and one on the far left. I am not a fan of people saying line breaks do not count. Uh, if you line break an artery, does it count? <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so let's let's not get that picky. my finger on the trigger here and I start prepping throughout the entire process.
we know it's like a niche topic, right? Concealed carbine. Questions, comments, we want to hear it all. Like you guys have probably seen on our website, mentorship, not instruction. So we're here to guide you. We're gonna start off slow. So we kind of like to talk about it in like Tommy's sense of, he's got his coach in his corner and he's doing his fighting, right? His shadow boxing, getting everything dialed in. Then we'll ramp up the intensity, you know, hitting the bag. Then at the end of it, we'll be going full speed, getting you guys stressed out like a real fight. go you pull your bag up get everything out get it on target chamber around and then fire five shots into the left side no misses Another point of contact here, and all I got to do is slap my magazine on my forearm here. So this is more than a transaction, right? We want to mentor you guys. So that means it doesn't just end here. You guys crushed it. That's badass. Thank you. Those are awesome. Nice job, bro.